Hey you guys, Crystal Grace here. Welcome back to another Pick A Card reading. So this one is all about what have people currently realized about you or what are they going to realize about you? So we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one, we have the blue kyanite. Pile number two, we have the pink agate slice. And pile number three, we have the fruchite. So take a moment to connect with one of these uh, crystals and before we jump into what people are going to realize or what they have realized about you, we will do an energy check-in. So we'll pull some astro uh, dice, we'll pull some initials and charms as well. So with that said, I'll also acknowledge I have a cat here who really wants to get up into the camera. So if you are new to my channel, um, unfortunately that's just the way this channel crumbles. I'm a cat mama and so forth. So, with that said, let's get into pile number one. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. So, the blue kyanite crystal. <clears throat> Who are you, pile number one? You know, I um thought, you know what, I can do a reading because... Um, there was no one mowing or anything, so I'll just shut this window because people were mowing. <laughs> so, blue kyanite, right? So obviously it's connected with the throat chakra, obviously the color blue. Um, but this, this crystal definitely helps with opening the throat chakra, encouraging communication, self-expression. So I'm interested to know then, are you, are people realizing that you are now becoming more self-expressive or maybe people are realizing you are giving yourself some kind of encouragement to be more communicative? Um, the kyanite also helps us like cut through fears and blockages like and it helps us to speak our truth So maybe for some of you people what what people are realizing about you is that you are now speaking your truth um, <clears throat> Hello You don't ever want cuddles other than when I'm busy Do you? Nobody needs to see the charging people. Um, some of you could be really good at public speaking or maybe you want to get into public speaking, okay? Or some kind of performance or performer or become some kind of performer. So maybe there's a few blockages around confidence, right? Confidence in communication, self-expression here. Um, so maybe... Uh, like some of you could be working on strengthening your voice, standing in your truth. Maybe you could be doing a lot of healing around the throat chakra as well here. Yeah, it's definitely a very stimulating crystal. So maybe you stimulate communication or conversation here. Maybe um, like there's a growing awareness around others or around you in the fact that um, you know, not communicating our true self creates a lot of obstacles and challenges. So it could even be the fact that romantic suitors for this pile um, may actually be realizing that their lack of communication towards you, pile one, um, is what has caused like a communication breakdown or the obstacle between um, you and them as well. It's definitely a, a crystal that promotes balance between the masculine and the feminine energy. So it kind of gives me the vibe that a lot of you are well balanced or you are currently working on being more well balanced here. So that is with this. So let's grab some. I'm trying to hold the cat with one arm so he like she doesn't come and rain on our parade here. So we have a key. The number seven we have a turtle we have a number eight we've got the letter j we have a starfish with the number five we have a u with the number one and we have either a zero or an o <laughs> seven 
Eight one. Sorry, those um, <clears throat> charms might be really hard to see on the silver backdrop. I will remember that for next time. Kind of feel like this pile is really high energy at this time. Maybe you've kind of just had some self acceptance about who you are, what you bring to the table. So we have a Gemini, we have Capricorn, we have the Moon, so Moon is represented by Cancer, we have Taurus, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus again, strong Cancer, strong Taurus, we've got 20, so some of you could be in your 20s, and we have Virgo as well. I'll leave that there, maybe you want to look at those. Okay, okie dokie. Who are you? Let's just pull a couple of these cards. Who are you and what are people realizing? That's what we want to know. I'll pull these and we'll pull some tarot. We'll mix it up a bit. Who is pile number one? Hmm. I have a funny feeling what people are realizing about you is you put them, you are very protectress. You are very protected. People realize this. You are very spiritually protected. You have strength and boundaries and amulets. So strength, boundaries and amulet. So I kind of feel like who you are, what you represent is we have flower child underneath. Uh, your energy is valuable here. Protect it well. So <clears throat> the vibe I'm picking up here, who you are and what people are realizing about you is you're heavily protected by the spirit realm. I think a lot of people might try and do um, spell work on you guys. They may actually... Um, try and manifest bad things for you and what they actually find is that you're strong so even though that those manifestations may come into fruition what they notice about you or what they realize is that you're strong enough to um endure anything people put upon you um and then i feel like with this boundaries energy here with this protect protectress is that um people can see that you have very healthy boundaries you don't allow people back in to your life from your past who have done you wrong what's this say <clears throat> i hope that over everyone else you learn to make yourself proud yeah i definitely feel like people what they've realized about you now is that you are protecting your energy you you've realized your value what you bring to the table and like you're protected now you're protecting yourself you're protecting your own energy overall is what people are really realizing about you i feel like with the dark night of the soul let's just lay these out see what we've got here <clears throat> slide those over there so we have dark night of the soul acceptance the shaman love it harmony and yin and yang so there's that masculine and um feminine energy there you're really well balanced people are seeing that you're so much more balanced now pile one than you probably have ever been before um and i feel like this comes back to this dark night of the soul uh what people have realized about you is maybe some of you were a bit of a train wreck here maybe you were on some kind of downward spiral but like a tower moment happened and a transformation was upon you um i feel like what people are realizing about you now is you definitely awoken to a new you you have awoken to the light and I feel like you have awoken to your energy and how actual powerful you are and I feel like you're releasing people and leaving people in the past and what they're realizing about you pile one is that there is no space in your new realm for those people for their energy um, you know if any of those people were holding you back they can see that there is no bond there there are no strings that they can pull to you know make you a puppet um <clears throat> People have definitely realized that, again, when they, I feel like this transformation, awaken and tower energy here, people send you tower moments and you transform from it. Like you grow, you become better. And I feel like this is wigging a lot of people out, especially like if you have competition, if you have any sort of haters or people who are envious or try and hold you back, don't want you to grow, don't want you to excel, what they're realizing, the more that they do this to you or try and provide 
I'll put an obstacle in front of you. What they're noticing, par one, is that um, you jump over those obstacles or you beat down those obstacles and you grow from it and become stronger. Um, you know, and the stronger you become, the more beautiful you are becoming. But see how with the moon here is very much highlighted on the top three cards. We see it here again. So I feel like the more tower moments you endure, the more psychically, more psychically connected you become. And people are realizing this about you. So, you know, the awkward thing about that is that they're making you stronger. They're making you more spiritually connected. So if you are in some kind of uh, business with like, you know, tarot or like psychic medium, what these people will find is that they're only strengthening your business. They're only strengthening your skills. And naturally, when our skills become strengthened, you know, the popularity of your business also strengthens. So, you know, the more they keep sending that energy, utilize that energy because you can feel it. You know, when people are sending bad juju, you can feel it like shit starts going wrong. You're like, what the fuck? And then you realize, OK, somebody doesn't like what I'm doing. Uh, and normally, more often than not, it's people who are, uh, are in the same field as you. You'll see this in the workplace. Uh, you know, there's always like people in the workplace when you're new to a work environment. People want to bring you down because, you know, they're worried that you're going to steal the limelight, whatever. No, don't bring grasshoppers in here, Luna. <sighs> okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Luna. I don't know why they choose the tarot room to be the room they bring the little things. Anyway, so acceptance, letting go, water, non-resistance. Hmm. You can let go now, surrender to what is. Yeah, I kind of feel like what people are realizing about this acceptance energy here is that you have accept for people for what they are, who they are, and you that's that letting go energy. I feel water off a duck's back is coming through as well. So it doesn't matter what energy or what people say to you, what they're realizing about you, uh, part one, is it goes in one ear and out the other. It literally rolls off your back. Like you're like, cool, thanks for your opinion, didn't ask for it. I'm going to carry on with my day because I'm in my power. I'm moving up. I'm moving on. That's the sort of vibe I get here. And I think that energy is a very beautiful energy pile one. It's one that you should be sharing with the world. So if you haven't opened up that throat chakra yet to share your experiences, to share your love, now would be the right time to do that um, because you are being seen here as a shaman. So lunatic insights and cosmos, people, what they realizing about you pile one, although that you may come across as a lunatic and maybe your insights insights and ideas are ludicrous. Um, you are connected to the cosmos and everything that you predict, everything that you say is coming true. It may not come true for every person, say if you do collective readings, whatever, but it's coming true or it is the reality of some people, right? I think this is, again, really beautiful energy and it's one that you need to share with the world if you have not already started. You are heavily connected to the cosmos. What does this say? Am I crazy or is it the moon? Love it. So this is that Cancerian energy. I kind of feel like, yeah, um, my son is in Cancer or was in Cancer the day I entered this realm. And... Um, like you're a very nurturing, psychic, intuitive person. You're very quirky. You say things without people understanding why you have said it. And you know things about people that nobody else knows. And so when you talk in like groups or like, you know, even one-on-ones with random strangers, you say stuff that, that freaks those people out and think, whoa, like how the fuck did this person even know to say that? Like that's a message I needed to hear. So I feel like, you know, I don't want to say if you believe in God, it's like God talks through you. Angels talk through you. You are a vessel. OK, you have a message to share from the other side, whatever other side that may be. I'm very open minded to the realm we actually are in. Um, but I, I believe whatever you believe, I, I just I think life's too short um, to be wasting our time trying to figure out what realm are we actually in. Um, so then we're moving over here to Harmony.
harmony, harmony, harmony. So ease, inner child and softness. May sweet and soft things find you. So again, I feel like people, what they've realized about you, again, coming off the back of this dark night of the soul, you've had a lot of tower moments. People send you a lot of bad juju, yet you still stay or remain in your like vulnerability in your feminine energy here your, there's still a softness about you i feel like if any of you have gone through some really deep dark trauma um people when they learn about that or what they realize about you is that you still have or portray this very soft vulnerable side to yourself even though it would be very easy for you to go into the dark side here and um you know punish everyone around you because what life has served um <clears throat> we have the yin and the yang here so unity balanced energy and manifestation so i feel like i'm in divine flow and move in alignment so I kind of feel like here what people have realized about you is you are very much in alignment with your soul's calling. And if you don't feel like that yet, pole number one, you are going to get there. People already realize this about you. Um, you may not realize this about you. So whatever journey or whatever path you are currently on, this is people can foresee this for you. Like you are on the path to success. You are on the path that you were destined to be on is sort of that yin yang energy. You are very well balanced. I think you have this very vulnerable soft side, but then you also have this very active, um, assertive energy as well. What does this say here? She dug, she dug until she covens in found the light, found the, her, hang on. She dug covens in her heart until she found the light. Hmm. That's so, I think, is that like, I don't know what that actually means. She dug covens. What does that mean? Where's this book? I need to know. <clears throat> 28. I don't really, if you are new to my channel, I don't ever draw upon the books because, yeah, in darkness I can cultivate. So, caverns, caverns. I have to Google it because it's going to do my head in. Um, Carve, so covens. Oh my god. Um, okay, moving on. So we have numbers 28, 42, 30, 27, and 2. Okay. So let's uh, pull some tarot and then we'll move on to pile number 2. So what have people currently realized about pile number 1? So the overall energy, we have the Ace of Wands. So the Lovers, the Queen of Pentacles and the Star. Hmm. <clears throat> what have they realized? Oh, the Ace of Wands is very like sexual energy. I don't know. Um, there's a couple of different ways to look at this, so I'm just making space for myself because my cats have just gone, made me no space. Um, so the Ace of Wands is very sexual energy. It's very pleasurable energy. So maybe this overall energy, the lovers, the queen of pentacles and the star, I feel like what people have realized about you is you are very sexually attractive. You, your, when people get to learn your inner beauty, they align it with your outer beauty. And I feel like what people have currently reali realized about you, and this is your main message for this reading, mind you, because I have to consider this, the sober energy to this. People have realized that you would make a good lover. You're very stable down to earth. And they're learning all of this because of your online presence. Because the star for me is always connected to online. And it's um, people from afar are realizing this. People around you are realizing this. 
through your social media, people are finally, or not finally, I want to say finally, people are realizing the sexual energy you portray. There is this sexiness to you, to, to everything you believe in, to everything you do. Uh, I feel like this is probably coming from energy of people who were never accepting of whatever it is that you are pursuing right now. Um, I feel like people are heavily drawn to your confidence here, your newfound passion to whatever it is you're doing, also your energy. Um, you know, people are really realizing your energy is actually very high vibrational. You're a very creative individual, like you, you're sparking a lot of enthusiasm in people around you, but also online. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, what people are realizing about you is that um, you're a whole lot more grounded and uh, got your like shit together more than what they realized. I feel like people have realized that you're very selective with the people you choose to have in your life. You're also very selective with the kind of lovers that you invite into your bed. Um, I feel like people have realized how down to earth you actually are. Like you, you may come across as very self-centered and self-absorbed, but they more they get to know you, part one, they realize that you are very secure in who you are and what you bring to the table. Um, you're also very nurturing and you're also very practical. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you spark a lot of jealousy and insecurity around you. And I feel like people probably get very possessive of you when you invite them into your space. They don't want to share you with anyone. And I kind of get this impression that you may actually meet new people, but they don't want you to hang out with their friends because you make them not look as good as what they want to look with that group of circle of friends, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people are realizing that you are next level. You're on a whole other level compared to anyone else on the planet or in their planet or like their realm. Um, and, and this does create a lot of insecurity for, for people around you, I feel. The lover's card, right, definitely tells me uh, people are realizing that they could have had a perfect union with you, especially people from the past, especially people you have slept with. Um, and I feel like uh, those people are realizing or have realized that they made the wrong decision. They made the, the like, the, they made a really bad choice because in hindsight, you share very similar desires and shared values to all your kindred spirits. So all the people that you have been with sexually, I feel like what they've realized about you and where you are today or where you will be next week or whenever this comes into fruition is that they had an opportunity to have a very loving and supporting relationship with somebody who was very intense emotionally, very spiritual, um, had a really well-balanced physical bond and they blew it. That's sort of the vibe I'm picking up here. You know, maybe you hung out with a lot of F boys, F girls here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there is a lot of self-realization around you in regards to what could have been and had they had chosen you. Um, yeah, like, look, I, I don't feel like I need to carry on about the star, but... The star, you know, again, talks about creativity, inspiration, which is very similar energy to the um, to the Ace of Wands. But the star is also very much linked to healing. So what people may have realized about you is that you have no issues healing or what they're learning about you online is that you are healing or you have healed. Um, you know, you've healed from relationships, you've healed from trauma. And because of that, it's allowed some kind of renewal energy within you. There's a serenity about you or surrounding you. And people, what they've realized about you is you are different now because you've healed from something. You know, you've uh, removed... I don't know, you've removed some kind of negative energy within you and I feel like that is what people have currently realized about you guys. So that is all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed that message. Let me know down in the comments if you feel comfortable to share that. If you are looking for a personal read, head over to my Etsy store. Loads of listings, uh, loads of reviews and uh, super cheap prices uh, as I want everyone to have access to to that um service so sending much love and light bye
Hey you guys, welcome to your reading. So those of you who chose this beautiful uh, pink agate slice, so pretty, love it. Wish it had some uh, crystals in the middle there, but it does have some on the rim. So who are you? So before we jump into what have people realized about you, we'll just do sort of like an energy check-in. Um, so the pink agate is specifically, I guess, connected with self-acceptance. Um, it definitely helps us with our self-love as well. So self-accepting who we are, what we bring to the table and loving ourselves more. And it definitely helps to promote a sense of inner peace and contentment within our lives. And that obviously comes through by self-acceptance in who we are, what we bring to the table. So who are you? I would say that you're either going through a transformation at this time. I can feel seeing the death card and the Scorpio energy. So things are ending, things are, start, are beginning, things are ending, things are beginning. And I kind of have that on repeat. Maybe that's your philosophy at this time. Um, you know, it's a stone very much full of love, joy and positivity. So maybe some of you have kind of felt like you are lacking love, joy, and positivity, or maybe you are filled with love, joy, and positivity. Um, I definitely feel like people are really admiring you at this time for whatever reason that may be. There's a lot of admiration surrounding you at this time. And you may just like protrude this like really bright and warm energy, sort of, I'm seeing a yellow light, a yellow aura, like a... Um, Sort of like the color of a sun, like a soft sun. I feel like you have really been working on your level of opt optimism, like how to bring more fun into your life. So maybe you're in sort of like a dark moment and now you're sort of coming out of that through this transformation that you could be going through. <clears throat> Uh, so we have an O, we have a V, we've got an N, we've got an E, a D, a 9 or a 6, a 5, a 2, a H, a K, a V, an R, it does look more like a 6, it's hard isn't it? 60 we have a j the number seven one charm for you guys which is the rocking horse okay okay we have a capricorn we have aquarius south node or north node south node Cats were in here for fucking my shit up. <clears throat> oh, the little cheap sheep for my planets. And it's gone. The next level cat, so I don't know. Who's more um who's more uh what's the word I'm looking for? Who is more destructive the cat or the dog um I'm gonna go with south node because I'm pretty sure it's south node why do I second guess myself I don't know I don't know we've got Libra we have Virgo uh, we have uh, Sagittarius. Some of you could have been brought, bought, br born in the 2000s. Maybe we do have uh, some people watching who were adopted. Um, maybe you're going through an adoption process here. Yeah, Virgo and Taurus. All right. <clears throat> Show me who pile one is. Show me what people have realized about them. Mm. 
Mm. Could be my party pile. Seeing three of cups over there. Yeah, I knew that flower child was going to come out for this pile. Um, what did we do? We did five. One more. What's your overall energy? Ooh, the moon. Very nice. What if your strangeness is actually your brilliance? Very nice. We have flower child. We have the mirror. We have grow together. Breaking into bloom. The mind. <clears throat> Got good coverage. Cool. Overall energy, duality, hidden gem, secret power. Who are you? Yeah, I kind of feel like even with the flower child here, the mind breaking into bloom, the mirror. I feel like you're stepping into your power and this sort of stems back into that uh, energy of the pink agate in regards to um, finding your feet, like accepting who you are, like loving yourself more, what you bring to the table. Um, there is a duality to you though, and I'm getting Gemini energy here. So you guys are very intelligent and very awkwardly intelligent. And what I mean by that, like you know things about stuff that people don't understand that you know. Like you can have a conversation with anyone about pretty much anything. And maybe some of you get really spun out the fact like, how the fuck do I know this? You have a secret power with knowledge, I feel. Um... It's very liberating here. There is this element or energy of liberation surrounding you and who you are and your mind. There's something that it's like what people realize about you is you're very unique in the way you think about this like world we live in or about how you think about anything. It's very different. Your brain is very, like, it's wired differently. What people realize about you, Pile 2, is you are wired very differently. You're not like anyone else anyone knows. Um, you know, moon child, flower child, like, then we think about the indigo child, star seed. You are very creative. Uh, once you get on a creative flow that you build up this momentum, like, once you start taking action towards your creative goals or like dreams people see this momentum following through like you get on a roll and when you start rolling like things really come into fruition for you quite easily I feel like the mirror here and the self-reflection right a big picture what people realize about you is you may shine a mirror on their bad behavior here you may act out of character you may come across arrogant maybe a bit aggressive assertive very queen of swords energy i'm feeling here but i feel like what people realize about this behavior is they see a self-reflection in their own so i feel like this mirror energy here uh what people realize about you is that you shine a mirror or you shine a light on people's bad behavior and you you bring forth change in many people and they probably never tell you about this because people don't really like to tell people that they're right. It takes a really uh, grounded, down-to-earth individual to say, you know what, you were right and I was wrong. Um, and I kind of feel like a lot of you cross paths with many people to put them back on the right path and get them off the wrong path. So bringing more balance into people's lives through maybe tough love, maybe through saying what you think without a filter. Um, you're a big picture person and I feel like what people realize or have realized about you is that if you don't see people in the big picture, if you don't see the goal or the meaning, like the meaning behind doing something or having somebody in your life, you remove them. Like you would rather spend time by yourself doing your own thing, self-reflecting, focusing on the bigger picture than just having any old like person in your energy I feel 
Um, and I picked that up with this Grow Together card. Like I feel like what people realize about you is that you are seeking people who can inspire you to help you bloom, to become a better person. You are seeking very um, organic connections. You may be um, venturing out into the community and um, exploring different uh, community groups at this time. And what people are realizing about you is that you are seeking groups that will help you grow um you know whether that even be like a yoga center or like some well-being center you're very selective with the environment you are currently putting uh putting yourself in and i feel like this goes in both ways i feel like what people are realizing about you the choices you're making at this time is what they're realizing are the same choices they should also be making. So what you may find is there's a lot of copycats around you. Friends could be copying you, like acquaintances could be copying you, partners could be copying you. Um, you know, there is this energy surrounding you that you are trying to be high value, maybe trying to level up, but in a very graceful manner here. So people may be trying to follow your lead here. So then we have breaking into bloom. So who are you? What have you done to make people realize sometimes you will break before you bloom? Hmm. This gives me very tower energy here, time, liberation, understanding. I feel like what people have realized about you is you don't rush things. You just allow things to unfold. You may even allow things to actually bring you to a breaking point, especially relationships, uh, maybe toxic behavior from work colleagues like friends, partners. Um, you allow a situation to get to breaking point and then you sort of transform. You like through time, patience, healing. Um, I feel like what people realize about you, you become very liberated when you pull yourself away from things that no longer serve you and you focus on you. And I feel like that, that could be a realization as well. Like people realize after they get to know you, your story is well piled to that through time and liberating yourself and gaining an understanding of why things happen to you, why something hit, um, you know, hit a wall or like died in a way like a relationship or something. Um, I feel like what they realize about you is that um, it helps you grow. And sorry, now I was like, where's this going? <laughs> and it's the mind. What they realize is your mind is very different because of the things you have experienced in this life and how you um, how you process situations, how you process other people's treatment towards you. It's very different. I don't feel like you fight fire with fire here. Although I see the Queen of Swords energy, I, I feel like you say the things that you say are facts, they're truth. So it's not really, I feel like if you are, you know, being combative through facts and truth, that's not fighting fire with fire. Fire, Fighting fire with fire is just pulling things from out of your ass for the sake of trying to win an argument. I think every time you go into an argument or what people are realizing about you, pal, too, is when you go into an argument, you've got facts and figures. The numbers don't lie kind of mentality. Um, and this all comes through from like your intelligence, your mind. So then we have give to the mind and it gives back. So a lot of you could be uh, really focusing on nutrition here and helping bring more um, balance to the mind. Um, inspiration, mood and cycle. So <clears throat> I don't know, some of you could be on a plant-based diet at the moment for some of you. You could be really focused on enhancing your brain cells for some of you. I know that sounds really random, but... Um, and even embracing your body here, you know, like she has flowers on her breasts and stuff. So I kind of feel like, um, you know, people might realize what they're realizing about you now is you're investing a lot of time and energy into yourself. You're really nourishing your body. Like she's in a bath here. She's got plants and bees growing around her head. Um, here she's reading about magic. What does it say on this card? Um, did you forget all you had to go through to be you? Wow, that's powerful. Hmm. 
I don't think you have forgotten pile two. Um, you know, a lot of the magic within you, pile two, has all come from everything that's happened to you. Um, you haven't allowed... You haven't allowed trauma to hinder who you are. Um, if anything, it's made you a lot more insightful. And when one is insightful through experience, they're able to provide a lot of, um, you know, professional advice. So some of you could work in the counseling field or the psychology field, or if, if you do need a career path, that could be one that would be very interesting for you and beneficial at this time. So that's sort of what I'm getting for, for these magical spirit oracle cards. Okay, so show me what people have realized about PAL 2. King of Pentacles, the Papa. Self-sufficient, eh? Three of Wands. The Empress, wow. We have the Four of Swords. <clears throat> That's the overall energy. Hmm. You know, the overall vibe I get what people realize about you is you are where you are today, like the success you've achieved through material wealth. Um, you know, the success you've achieved on your inner well-being, like your inner health your like self-control of emotions it's through um it's through a lot of travel i see what people have realized you've traveled a lot or you're well traveled um and i kind of feel like you've acquired a lot of material wealth uh for some of you it could be through parents here but i, I don't really feel like that applies but you are very wealthy because of some kind of travel you've had and wealth comes in all shapes and sizes okay Wealth can be in the sense of spiritual wealth, uh, financial wealth, obviously, is what we always link wealth to, but social wealth, okay? Like, and being wealthy socially means you are very well perceived by people. People will fight for you if people talk smack about you. People are realizing that when they try and talk smack about some of you, you are pre like, I'm not going to say protected. I would say people stand up for you when you're not around. And that might come as a shock for a lot of you because you may feel like because you do spend so much time alone, maybe your circle is very small. Um, I just feel like you are very fixated on your sanctuary, relaxation, rejuvenation. We see this here with the other Oracle cards. And that's your overall uh, energy of what people realize, realize about you, that you need time to process things. You need time to protect your energy and like rest. Um, and I feel like that could be the overall vibe here with the Four of Swords. Like you like to spend time alone. Maybe you're like off relationships at this time as well with that Four of Swords. But back to this energy, I feel like that's far more important here. But I um, I feel like with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands and the Empress, people are realizing like that that balance within you. I feel like they can see that you are very disciplined you're, through discipline action, you've become very abundant. You've become very secure within yourself and you're very safe to be who you are. Like you feel very safe to show your true colors, to show who you are. Um, you're also what people realize about you. They may have thought you were a bit airy fairy for some of you. They may have even thought like maybe you were... Um, unstable or unhinged in a way but what they've realized is you're very reliable you're very protective of your relationships like you're very loyal as well and we see that also with the empress card um <clears throat> like people can depend on you and i think that's what they're realizing about you and although like a lot of you could be heavily single and very protective of your uh, time and energy. I feel still what people are realizing about you 
is that you're not going to settle for just anyone with this king of pentacles like people realize you are ready for a serious relationship but you're so well traveled you are looking for a like an empress you're looking for somebody who's going to be able to nurture you in a relationship and the empress can represent a male 100 percent like i personally would rather um be with somebody in their empress energy than their uh, emperor energy because then i've been with emperors and oh like that doesn't blend with my my love language so i kind of feel like that could apply here with you guys what people realize about you is that you are very picky and you can be picky and you know three of wands is also about patience right it's also about waiting it's also about like What am I picking up here? I want to say like it's about it's about making compromises but the right kind of compromises to find the right person. So I feel like what people have realized about you is that you don't need anyone to be in a relationship. You're very comfortable to be alone and single. But then they also realize that you are very much ready for a relationship. You're ready to take things to the next step, looking for love, looking for the right person. Um, like you, you could even, people may even realize that you are willing to travel, like go the long distance literally in geographical terms to find the right suitor here but I feel like with the empress what it's telling me is that what people have realized is that you are very much looking for somebody who is maybe more in their feminine energy than their masculine energy and I don't know who that message is coming from guys like it could be just the fact of exes realizing like what they've realized about you is you're not actually looking for somebody who is like this staunch like masculine driven kind of character like you're looking for somebody who is more you know in their in their humble energy like who's all about nurturing and caring relationships not like just doing the bare minimum and that can apply for the males watching as well because I, I see that my male audience is growing and I love this I really do um, and um, what I feel for you guys you know who are we're going to tailor, tailor this to the the female if that is the the gender that you seek but um or attracted to whatever um, is that you are looking for a woman who may be of more like traditional values to what you deem to be traditional and that's what people are realizing so you know you could have been attracting women who were not the kind of women that you need but the ones that you thought you wanted um mm. Yeah, I just feel overall here with the Empress, people, what they've realized about you is you're looking for a more pure, nurturing relationship as opposed to like one that requires you to control and maybe manipulate. Um, so yeah, that is, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I really hope that message found the audience that needed to. Uh, if you are looking for a personal read, jump over to my Etsy store, loads of listings and reviews there. Um, but until next time, bye. Hey guys, welcome to your reading. So those of you who chose the raw through shite piece. Hello, darling. So who are you? Who are you? Based off this crystal. You know, this is a crystal that promotes a deeper connection with nature and the earth, aligning our energy with the natural world. So I kind of feel like maybe you guys are heavily spiritual, like maybe you've really been focusing on your spiritual practices and now you are trying to come back into the 3D because when, okay, cut. When we um, focus more on like the 5D, let's just call spirituality the 5D because it's just easier and we uh, take our energy completely away from the 3d it creates an imbalance into the journey that um, you know we came here to embark on well at least this is sort of my philosophy I feel like we need to find that happy medium so 
Um, I kind of feel like that could be like something some of you are kind of going through at this time. Uh, the fruit side also can help us, uh, like, or guide us to the right path we're meant to be on um, and obviously help us make decisions and understanding our true purpose. So maybe for some of you who picked this pile, you thought your only purpose here was to, you know, become a spiritual guru and just practice all your time, like put all your time and energy into your spiritual practice. But in fact, you are also meant to be engaging in 3D human activities, okay? So I kind of feel like some of you could have been heavily isolated of late or maybe you have like secluded yourself, shut the door on many people. Um, you know, shut up shop is what I'm hearing um, in order to just put all your time and energy into um, your spiritual works. Um <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you are very innovative. You have a lot of innovative ideas, things that could uh, probably make you a lot of money here. Um, maybe there is this element around lack of trust or like not trusting your ideas or your intelligence to the point that getting those projects off the ground. Um, this crystal is also about rejuvenation, renewal as well. So I kind of feel like for a lot of you, you may need to rejuvenate or renew your sort of maybe your plan um, is sort of what I'm picking up. Very interesting, very quirky energy I'm connecting to at this time. Don't fall off. Don't go up there. Just sit there like a little baby does. I'm talking to my cat. So we have a W, a G, a nine or a six, an O, another W. We'll just pile it on top. We have another O. We have a C, we have a K, we have a V. We have a tree of life. We have a D. We have a H, a Q, a T. Oh, let me burn my hand. A Z and a, another D. You're going to sit there like a good little girl, are you? We also have a pumpkin spice. Hello. You're so pretty. I'm so lucky. All right. This is not what we're doing. we got here we have Scorpio S south node we have Leo don't you can sit there we have Gemini we've got Leo again we've got Gemini again we have Taurus don't look at me with those loving eyes. Gemini again. Some of you are in your 30s. May have a heavy, um, may have a uh, strong connection with the 1930s. Could have had a life in the 1930s. Could have died in the 1930s. All right, show me who pile three is. Show me who pile three is. Show me what people have realized. And we want five of these cards. Sweetie, <gasps> don't. There's a fire there. What do we got? The seeker. Could you surrender just a bit more? Um, heavy per heavy on the purple energy here. So I feel like this is really reiterating, yeah, and growing pains. I feel like um, the the vibe I'm picking up here, right, is that you have been so invested in your spiritual journey that it's created some kind of growing pains in the 3D. All seeing eye, spirit, release, healing, patience. 
and unconscious. Part of me, some of you have picked this pile, like you may have threw yourself completely into your spiritual practices or your spiritual work, witch work, potions, spells, and seeing cauldrons and all sorts of things right now in my third eye. But I kind of feel like for this pile, something's happened and you've just retreated from the world and just heavily focused on you and your spiritual needs, okay? I feel like you've just shut up shop from the rest of the world here. Let's have a look at these cards. Let's move that up there so we know you can see properly. So we have the mystic, blessings and curses, the lover, the servant queen, the awakened dead. I'm seeing Ouija boards. I'm seeing like rooms filled with candles. I feel like if there was gonna be a pile for this reading for witches, this would have to be it. I love witches. I think you're. I think you're amazing creatures. Um, and um, yeah, like I know my soul has never been a witch. Uh, I know I come from somewhere else. Um, and um, I've, witches just fascinate me. Like I just love the ancestral line of witches. There are beautiful species in this realm, and I, I do. I really cherish them. And I, I'm. I've been very blessed with certain friends of mine who are. Um, uh, are witches. Uh, I've met like all kinds of witches and I love that. Like I, I really do. Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting really emotional. I want to cry because <laughs> I just feel blessed that I have crossed paths with some really beautiful witches. I've also crossed paths with very horrible ones, but, um, you know, they're everywhere. So <clears throat> who are you? What have people realized? There is a reason you have those dreams, the mystic, intuition, high priestess, visionary. You are highly intuitive individuals. Like we've got the psyche here. Your third eye is so actively open. It's not funny. Um, you know, I feel like you guys can uh, predict the future quite easily. Uh, you have visions yourself. You see a lot in your third eye what's about to happen. You may even stop a lot of accidents for some of you. And if you haven't started that, that could be some of your gifts. People may realize or what people have realized about you is your intuition, your psyche abilities prevents a lot of accidents for them. You might say to people, I don't think you should do that. And if they go, why? You just say, I just don't think you should do that. And those people don't do it. And what they realize if had they had gone down that path and thinking back to that path with the fruit, the message with the fruit. You guys may, what people may really realize about you is you put them back on the right path in the sense that if they were to do something, like people may tell you they're going to do something and then you go, no, I don't think you should do that. You may not always give a reason to, to be honest. I'm kind of hearing you don't ever give a reason why not to do it. You just say, I just don't. And you sort of walk away or you just leave the conversation there. You might even change the subject. And when people actually realize um, the outcome of whatever they were going to do that you've prevented some kind of accident from happening. Uh, you've protected them from some kind of like dilemma. Um, I feel like the visionary here, you guys have the ability, again, this is very innovative behavior. You are very visionary in the sense of uh, intellect, uh, like creating things that other people would not be able to create or even fathom. Like, I feel like what people realize about you is um, you're just different. Like, and I can't put my finger on it. There's just something weird about you, but in a really positive way. There's just something, I don't want to sound like I, I'm not weird. Weird's a really poor choice of words, and I'm really sorry about that. Like, I'm connecting with people's energy, right? To understand what they're like. People just think, oh, like pile three is like so weird, but they're so right. Like everything pile three says is always the truth, you know, always comes true. I feel like some of these people around you, what they've realized about you is like they had you all wrong. You know, I feel like for a lot of you, you may, people may dream heavily about you. And I think, 
they dream, dream heavily about you after they've had an interaction with you and you tell them something that they don't want to hear maybe. Then they dream about you and then they understand why. Like there was a reason that they've met you. There was a reason why you were in their dream because they weren't listening to the message that you had to give them. I'm loving this imagery here. You know, she... Um, you have a maybe an out of body experience, so don't be ashamed not of your thorns or of your flowers. Blessings and curses, psyche, self love, and beauty. So, what are people realized about you? You know, I, I actually just feel like people, what they're realizing about you is that you are a blessing, but you could probably be a curse as well here. Um, and I kind of feel like don't be ashamed of your thorns or your flowers is like, don't be ashamed of, um, you speaking the truth that people need to hear. And, um, I actually feel like, and the flowers is a representation of love. Here is the, the kind of connection I'm making. Um, but people, what they realize about you is not only are you a blessing in their life, you're also a goddamn curse. Like, um, People may feel or feel like you jinx them, okay? You say, don't do this because this will happen and then it will happen. So they kind of, I think in that moment when those situations unfold for these people, pile three, they think you've cursed them, but I think they do come back to the realization it was a blessing because if they didn't know what you had told them, something worse would have happened. I just feel like you were God sent to a lot of people. You cross paths with a lot of random strangers maybe. Um, maybe you are a keyboard warrior here because you have spent a lot of time in your own environment. You haven't been active out in the community possibly um, you may be just sharing your words of wisdoms online and at the time people may just think oh my god this person is like maybe a troll or something but what they realized a few days later a few weeks later a few years later that that was a blessing whatever you say to these people they may think at the time it's a curse and like you're spinning shit but then they realize it was if they did not know what you had to share with them something else would have unfolded for them. And I feel like this is where we transition into the lover energy. And I feel like a lot of people, what they realize about you, you don't say things to be mean. You say things because you are a lover. You are very, um, very focused on creating a better world for those around you. You much prefer people uh, to succeed and be uh, in positive environments than negative as well. Like I feel like, Yeah, I feel like you just want everyone to bathe in in good feelings, you know, is what I what I'm picking up here. So it is safe to surrender to the good feelings. Um Yeah, I, th I think you guys are very sweet energy, you're very misunderstood. Uh what's that group of people? There's like a subgroup is it like the mishaps, the misunderstood? What are you breaking out there? Uh, what do you call like a group of people who don't, this, like the outcasts, okay? So I kind of feel like people, what they're realizing about you is that um, maybe they outcasted you and they shouldn't have. Um, you know, the fact that you do what you do for the love of humanity, you don't do what you do for satanic reasons, maybe. So you are worthy of beautiful things, a servant queen, divine, magnetic, valuable. Again, I feel like this is following through with the lover. I think, again, people are realizing that you are here to serve. You are here because you are a mastermind with the divine here. You're very magnetic. And I think everything you have to say is very valuable. And at least this is what people are currently realizing about you. So a lot of you could have had a lot of backlash for things that you have um, presented to people. A lot of you could have had a lot of negative uh, arguments, negative conversations about people calling you out for being the wrong kind of person, but in fact, you are actually serving people for their higher good. And I feel like people are seeing uh, or understanding why there's this magnetic pull towards you. I think once people have a, a encounter with you, pile three, they can't get you off their mind. They can't get the conversation 
conversation or the argument or whatever it is you've said off their mind until they experience that it uh, whatever the universe sends their way to prove that whatever you were doing was the right thing. Whatever you were saying was because it was coming from the best place it could come from and it was delivered in a way that needed to be delivered like that or else the receiver wasn't going to listen. Sometimes we have to be something that we don't want to be in order to wake people up because you are already awoken. You're so highly awoken. doesn't mean that you can't become more awoken, but you have surrendered to something quite serious. And once you chose to do that, you can now see everything. And I feel like you see right through people. It probably freaks them out if they can pick up this energy. Um, but yeah, people are definitely, uh, what they're realizing about you is you are a servant to God. You are a servant to the divine. You are here to, you're here to bring beauty back into maybe the ugly. Um, and then we have card number 16, the things that almost broke me were the things that most awoke me. And I love this. I feel like all piles have gone through a transformation here and I think it's beautiful and I love connecting with you guys because of that. Uh, your energy, you know, uh, feels my energy and I, I just appreciate it. It's why I do what I do. Um, but the awakened dead, resilience, nirvana, self-appreciation. Self so some of you may be big nirvana fans. If you're not, I definitely recommend going and listen to that music if you feel called to. They've got some real good bangers. Um, you are heavily resilient. I feel like a lot of people... Um, what they've realized about you is you are resilient. I think this comes back to whatever these arguments or these conversations you get in. People may really stoop really low to come for you and you don't stoop low back. You just keep the message. You keep it how it is and you keep it moving. Like you don't explain why. You say, well, this is wrong and you're wrong you know, um, X, Y, Z, and then you just cut the conversation. You don't even argue. You don't continue the argument. And I feel like a lot of people, uh, what they realize about you is because you don't lower that uh, level of maturity, people see that you're very resilient to uh, combative conversations, to people, you know, lowering their maturity and stooping really low with maybe name calling and stuff. People watch this. So I don't know if you're having arguments online or arguments and other people go and tell other people what happened. They're like, wow, and pile three just stood there and didn't rebuttal. No, all they just said was that one thing. And then they go away and they think about that thing sticks, whatever it is you say that sticks in their mind. And um, it's like they it festers on their brain and it festers so much. And I feel like once the universe feels like it's festered enough, bang, a situation unfolds and then the lesson is learnt. I think you're a big, uh, uh, big teacher in this life. Um, you may actually share stories of, of times where people have actually broken you, um, you know, and I think it's in these moments um, people realize that you are so educated in maybe life, life lessons that they should actually listen to what you're saying, because you're not saying this because you're trying to bring like trauma onto them. You're saying this to prevent trauma. You're saying this for growth. You're saying this for them to take a different path because the path they're currently on is, is not going to work. Um, I like this. This is good. So show me what have people realized about pile three. So with the tarot, it's sort of like a main message will come through with these ones. Oof, the chariot. Chariot's all about um, ch choices, choosing paths. What have we got here? Oof, Nine of Cups is the overall energy. Look, I, I have to say straight off the bat with the Knight of Cups here, I just feel like what people realize you realize about you with the Knight of Cups is the overall vibe here is the fact that um like <sighs> you 
you're a mediator. You know, you're a mediator in people's lives. Okay, and that's what people are realizing. I feel like you're very idealistic. You're an ideal, like you're idealistic, but you're also a realist. And I feel like, you know, you resolve issues with grace and in very unexpected ways. And I think what people are realizing about you is you you come with good offerings, you come with good advice. And at the point in time when you are delivering your message, you know, whether you're a vessel and it's a, another sp like a spirit guide using you as the vessel to get the message through, people see or finally have realized you are only doing what you're doing because you are bringing good advice. Um, they may even think, wow, it's quite a creative technique that the universe uses you to deliver a message as well. Um, but the Knight of Cups, like you come forth with loving advice. I just don't think... Um, it gets delivered in a loving way because some people won't listen to it if it's delivered in like that. That's maybe some of you need to hear that. Like you might walk away and go, well, maybe I did say the wrong thing. No, you haven't said it. You've said it the way that the messenger, I mean, the receiver needed to hear it. The only way they were going to hear it. The only way they were going to listen and then go think about it and then make the change that needed to happen. I also feel like what people are realizing about you, well, once they come to this realization is like, you are quite charming. <laughs> you know, you're very attractive. Once they learn that what you're doing is like what you're doing, you then become quite, um, <sighs> people then become very interested, you interested in you on a romantic sense is sort of what I feel happens is like, they kind of go, well, it's like, oh, pile three was actually doing this for the greater good of my life, not to try and harm me is sort of the vibe I'm picking up. So we have the moral of the story here, which is the chariot, the ten of swords and the three of pentacles. So what's going on here? Obviously endings. You know, I kind of feel like what people realize about you is that you've overcome a lot of obstacles because things have always ended for you. And the endings weren't just like oh, being ghosted or like things just ended quietly. Like this is pretty fucked up. Like being stabbed 10 times in the front of you, that's not good at all. I just kind of feel like what people realize about you is all of your success and ambition has come from a lot of tragic endings. Um, you know, you're still very, um, like three of pentacles. What do we say here? The outcome of endings is still sort of made you to be somebody who's still growing and learning about themselves and maybe about the world that you live in. You're still very much about unity and I feel like a lot of people, what they've realized about you is that you have gone down many paths, okay? Some paths that were filled with like, you know, uh, very aggressive characters, uh, loads of obstacles put in front of you because of, you know, dishonest people, maybe even romantic suitors have uh, con had some kind of control over you. But I definitely feel like what people realize about you is you're very controlled and you're very focused in bringing people to a halt and to stopping them doing or bringing an ending to a behavior, an opinion, a, a way of thinking, a way of life in order to bring more unity back into their life, in order to put them back on the path where... Um, you know, they can go and team build in whatever area of their life you were trying to fix. I don't know. Hopefully this is sounding like getting to the right person. I just feel like you're all on your own unique path here. So you would be fixing people for different reasons. But the three of pentacles is all about collaboration and shared goals and putting people um, planning together, bringing people back into unity. So, you know, maybe it's like, what's an allergy, please? I need one. <sighs> like, <clears throat> it's like, say for instance, you uh, meet somebody who is looking for a partner. 
but their mindset on what they're looking for is not it's not right so for instance say they were like oh this person uh, had plans between five and seven and didn't want to meet up with me until after seven and like I told them I'm not a lady uh like and like tore them a new one I kind of feel like you are going to sort of step into that conversation and say something like well this is not high value energy this is sort of like high maintenance energy um and I don't know I'm feeling very lost and confused uh let's get some more yeah it has to do with love so I'm going to keep going with that analogy because it'll it'll find the viewer um yeah, I just feel like what people realize about you is you call them out on their bad behavior, make them choose a different path to help them overcome an obstacle, to close something out, to end something, an end a way of thinking um, in order for them to come back and regroup with with whoever that they're not regrouping with, you know, like to stop somebody's train of thought and redirect them and have them looking at a situation in a totally different light is so beneficial. Like that's such a skill set. And that's going to put that person back on the path to the person that they're meant to be with if it's a romantic uh, connection, for instance. So I'm going to leave it there. This is such a long read, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Let me know down in the comments if that resonated. Sending much love and light. Bye.